doing? I'm doing great. If you picked up your packages, Monday's packages, you'll find that you have two canvases boards. These are boards that we're gonna paint on. You'll also find that you have six pots of paint. Cool, huh? So what we're gonna do this week is I'm gonna show you how to do a painting like this on our big board and then we will do another painting later this week on the little board. I did include a small paintbrush, but if you can find a larger bristled brush, that would be really handy to have. You should have enough paint in your little pots to do both projects. So get yourself set up, get yourself a cup of water, open up the lids on your little paint pot, get your newspaper spread out so you don't make a mess, and make sure that you get your canvas and also a paper towel or a rag that you're gonna wipe your brushes on to keep them clean in between our painting. I look forward to painting with you. I'll see you soon. Hello, my little artists. I'm glad that you could join me today. Today, we are going to take our board canvas and we are going to paint a beautiful picture. I have all my pots set up. I have my glass of water, my rag, and my paint brushes. So let's begin. This is gonna be a very simple painting. The first color we're going to use is our dark blue. We are going to take the dark blue and we are going to put it across the corners of our board. Okay, doesn't have to be real straight and fancy. You put a thin coat. We paint right across the corners of the canvas. I go ahead and flip it over to do the other corners. You'll probably be working on newspaper with your canvas set flat, and that's okay too. I'm doing it this way just for ease of showing you guys how to do this, okay? So, real simple painting. It doesn't have to be perfect. We don't really care. We're just having fun with our art classes, right? We're gonna rinse that off. We're gonna dab it on our towel. Next, we're gonna do the purple. So the purple is gonna go right alongside of where you did that blue. You just want a little bit of color there. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna paint right along there. It doesn't have to be real particular. We just want the color on there, okay? Let it flow. Be creative. Okay, we're gonna rinse our brush again, and we're gonna move from the purple right into a nice pink. So we have our pink. We're gonna take the pink and we are going to follow this design. We're gonna fill all this up with the pink on the sides. Okay, this is my horizon line. So I'm gonna fill in the whole bottom with this pink. You can turn it over so you can see better. Well, you don't have to turn yours over. I have to turn mine over because I'm using a little easel. Okay, and that's what we're doing with our pink. Our next color we're going to take, I'm rinsing my brush real good in between, so I don't have a lot of that same color on there. We're going to flip this back over. And there we go. Now I'm going to take orange. This is going to be, you know, kind of like a sunrise. So we're going to come around this way. Make it like an arch. 
You can let your paint go over the other colors and that kind of helps blend those colors together because we want it to look kind of blended together, right? Now remember, we're not Picassos, we're just learning how to play with our paint in the proper way. We're gonna make a cute little picture and we're gonna have fun doing it. We rinse our brush again, one more time, and we're gonna go, once again, with yellow. I'm actually gonna switch brushes. So I'm gonna use this medium brush. We're gonna get our bright yellow and we're gonna cover this part in with a bright yellow. That's our sun setting over the water. Now another thing I like to do, let's let this dry a minute. While that's drying, I'm gonna go back with some of my colors and do a second layer just to make them that much darker. very carefully go over the colors that you have painted with a second coat and you can see I'm using the little brush this time that I sent you in the kit go ahead and fill in those colors rinse 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 go to the next color is our purple we're just going to do that while they're both kind of wet. And that helps blend those colors in really well. Turn it back over. And the purple. So this is putting my second coat of paint on here so that your colors look more vibrant and a little darker. So then I take my brush, I dry that paint off, and I kind of blend these two colors together. Right? You're pulling from the blue into the purple and the purple into the blue, making it look really, really pretty. Go ahead and dry your brush off a little more. Pull those colors together. And it makes it blend in just a little bit more. So you don't have those, you know, sharp edges there. You see how that blends in? I like to call that the dry brush. You know, kind of do a little dry brushing in there. Rinse that off really good. Let's go to our pinks, right? That was the next color. So let's go ahead and put some more pink on here. And see, I'm using the small brush to show you. You don't have to have a bigger brush. You can do this all with one brush. I just like having a variety of brushes. Let me do the other side of the pink. Once again, I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm gonna dry it off on my towel, and I'm gonna do a little dry brushing between the pink and the purple. So we just want those to kind of blend out to each other a little, right? Dry off my brush again, do the other side. So we're softening those edges that we put in there.
softening our edges. And softening our edges. So that color goes a little bit around everywhere, right? Isn't that looking beautiful? From there, we're going back into the orange. We're going to add that orange back in. Ooh, that's a lot of paint on my brush. And I'm going to bring a little bit of that orange down here. I'm going to rinse my brush off again, and dry it on that towel, and I'm going to take that color and kind of soften those edges between the orange and the pink. I'm going to go around and soften those edges with the dry brush. Keep drying the brush off in between. Just kind of spread those colors out a little. Pick up just a little bit more orange to put it in there. All right, and finally, our last color, once again, is the yellow. So let's put our sun back in there. We want this really bright. So this might take a coat or two here in the middle. But while we're waiting for that middle to dry so we can add more, let's go ahead and dry brush our edges. Kind of work that out a little bit. I'm going to take some of that color all the way down. Okay. We can pick up a little of the orange, a little of the yellow, and we can just add some little clouds here. Just some little wisps of something, right? You don't have to plan it out. You just let them live wherever you think they should live. We want to put a little yellow highlight on the bottom because the light's shining from the bottom of these clouds. And so they're going to be brighter on the bottom than they are on the top. So go ahead and put just your little touch of color there. A little bit of color goes a long way. Okay, let's rinse our brush off again. I'm going to go back in with just a touch of that purple. Add a little shape to my cloud. By just touching little tiny touches of purple here and there. It puts a little more depth to your cloud, right? Beautiful, huh? Let's go back in with another coat of yellow here in the middle to make that really bright yellow. While I have the yellow on my brush, because this is water, I want a few little, oops, a few little touches of color here. And I'm just barely touching the canvas. And I'm just letting my paintbrush kind of flow a little bit. And then I'm going to go back with a little bit of that blue and do the same thing. I'm just going to let a little bit flow like a shape of water. You know, water's not just straight lines. It's more of a flowy kind of thing. Okay. I'm going to go in with some of that hot pink. And I'm going to put my horizon line in there better.
All right. The next color we're going to use is our black. I'm going to add my black while my yellow is drying. I really need this to dry all the way so that, that way we can go in there and touch up that yellow and we'll really make it pop. So what we're going to do with our black, this is called a silhouette painting. We are going to make just a little mark right here and we are going to make it come out like this. So this is going to be your little island. Okay, and then we're going to come over here on the other side. We're going to do another one, just lightly with the black. And then we're going to do a third teeny tiny one back here. I go ahead and dry off my brush. Make sure it's nice and dry. And I just kind of pull up on that paint a little. And that gives it a little bit of texture and makes it look like there's grass growing on these little islands. Or, you know, some kind of vegetation because I'm sure they're not just flat. Okay, so you can see, possibly. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our palm trees. So we're gonna get just a little bit of the black and we are going to come straight up from here. With a nice little trunk of a tree. The thing about palm trees, they have a little bit of a ball type thing here. And then we're going to put five leaves. There's one. I go ahead and rinse my brush off. I do the same technique I was doing on the bottom. You grab that and pull that down and it makes the fans in your palm leaf. So you just barely pull that paint down. Make sure you know which direction you're going on which palm leaf. Dry your brush off in between. paint seems to get too dry and you seem to be scraping the paint off, go ahead and add a little more paint to your brush. And then come back and feather. Pull that paint down so it looks like it's a palm tree. Okay, then we go on to our next little palm tree. This one's the closest one to you, so the next one's going to be a little smaller. So we're just going to put that baby right there and then we've got a teeny tiny one back here so we'll just go ahead and put that trunk there remember the little ball just kind of touch your brush there then we're going to put our leaves so there's one two three I like to think of a pinwheel when I'm doing palm leaves. It's kind of the shape of a pinwheel. There's our five. Then we'll go ahead and do these over here. So there's one, two, three, four, Go ahead and rinse off my brush. Go back in here and pull those down. Takes just a minute to do this part. 
You just, with a light hand, you don't want to push real hard. You just want to barely be catching that canvas. Like we make our happy little trees right there. If you want, you can add a little more to your painting. I'm going to make little bees up here in the corner. You can use a little bit stiffer brush strokes. So we just make little bees. And there's little birds flying away. Okay, you can add, you can subtract, you can do anything you want to this painting. As you can see, this one turned out just a little bit different than this one. So each one is unique. You can make it your own. I hope you've had fun painting with me. Don't forget, put all your lids back on your little paint pots because as you can see, we still have a lot of paint. So we will be reusing this paint this week and next week to do more exciting painting projects. So happy painting. Well, my little art friends, that is our painting for today. I hope you had a lot of fun. Make sure you put your lids back on your paint pots so we can keep them for our next project. Make sure you clean up your mess. Make sure that you had put newspaper down just to keep your clean area, your clean area clean and neat for our next project. I hope you're having fun following along with my art videos. I'm having fun making them for you. And until I see you again, remember Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m., Art Talk with Fawn. We'll do a different project every time. So please tune in and join me. I miss you guys. Bye.